Loaded ones at the top are hitched to another. By their weight, loaded cars run down the steep slope, pulling the empty ones up. Peter Sam duly waited at the bottom of the slope for the loaded cars. He never bumped cars unless they misbehaved. But the loaded cars couldn't see him properly. They thought he was Sir Handel. Their chance for trickery had come. Faster! Faster! They yelled. No, no! wailed the empty cars. It's Peter Sam! But it was no use. Hurrah! Hurrah! roared the cars. Peter Sam shut his eyes. Peter Sam. Rusty was working nearby and came to help clear up the mess. Bust my buffers, exclaimed Rusty. Never mind, Peter Sam. We'll get you out. Peter Sam felt battered. His funnel was cracked and his boiler dented. Thank you, Rusty, he sighed and limped slowly home. I'm sorry about your accident, said Sir Handel. I always stand well back. Cars don't like me. Why didn't you warn me? I didn't think. You never do. You can start thinking now while you're doing Peter Sam's work as well as your own. That'll teach you to pretend you're ill. Sir Handel did start thinking about Gordon. When the wreckage was cleared away, Rusty set off along the line. Splendid to see you again, whizzed Harold. I'm completing my evening's lookabout. Well done. Cheers, and keep up the good work. And the little diesel purred back home. <laughs>